Hi everyone. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Um, today I am recording in my car because I am waiting for my son to finish his tennis lesson. So today I want to talk about my um, what is that child raising philosophy or things that I try to teach to my son. So education is really important, but what I focus on with my eight-year-old son right now is I think three things. One is physical activity rather than focusing on academics. And number two is giving him different kinds of experiences. And number three is letting him do what he wants to do. So I want to talk a little bit more about each, but the first one um, that I said is m more focused on physical activity. He's still third grader, 80 year old. And yes, you know, some parents really start focusing on academics um, since children, their children are really early. But in my case, um, my personal experience is my mom and dad had no idea about education. So I don't remember them like forcing me or um, telling me what to do. But when I was in elementary school, I just basically went outside and did different things at the playground. So, but what's different now is kids cannot just go outside by themselves, especially in the States. And adults always have to be overseeing what's going on, take them to playground and everything. So compared to my generation, I think the amount of time he spends outside with his friends is less. So I try to make at least one hour on weekdays uh, or also on weekend if we're not doing anything special to take Take him to playgrounds so until the memorial day weekend which is the start of summer in us i was taking him to playground and at least let him play one hour or sometimes hour and a half but now after memorial day weekend our house owner association's pool opened up so just like last year i tried to take my son to the pool at least for one hour as long as the weather is nice and temperature is high enough. The reason is, like I said, I think it's really important both cognitively and um, physically for kids to move around and play with friends or other kids, do whatever. Every time I see him playing at the playground, I see him just, you know, playing tag with anybody <laughs> he just start tagging people and play and uh, i think that's something that you know the kids socialization rule or whatever that they learn so um, i don't tell him what to do or anything unless you know uh, there's something serious like hurting someone or dangerous but uh, that and then at the pool again i don't go in um, together I mean, it's ideal if I go in together and play with him, but I don't try to make the goal too high so that it doesn't feel like a burden for me. So at least I say, okay, I'm going to take him and then he can uh, swim with other kids for an hour and every time he finds something. So that's what I do. And the second thing that I try to focus is letting him experience different things. So every time we have some kind of to give him opportunity. So he's uh, joined like Lego and chess and cooking and sports so far. And uh, also outside of school, we went to Cub Scout trial event the other day and I hope that from next year he can join Cub Scout and he can learn about more like outdoorsy skills with other kids and also I try to join local parks events so he can kind of learn about the uh, nature or animals so I want him to experience it any, it, the things and this tennis too 10 week tennis program and what I like about US culture is like different from Japan like when I was little like it's not like in Japan it, I feel like it's more like how long you can continue like not only one year but two years or three years or four years but each program is like you know 10 weeks or you know whatever week one semester or something 
so they get to experience different things and it's not like so much of endurance or patience or sticking to it but it's just having fun so i wish i had that kind of programs when i was young because i think one of the reasons that i couldn't really continue what i did when i was little was because it was too much expectation and too much commitment that was needed from little kids when i was little like piano or volleyball or anything and i didn't really like that kind of seriousness <laughs> So, but every time I see my son joining different things, he's enjoying. So, I'm really happy. And the third thing is connected to number two, but by trying different things and experiencing different things, I hope that he will learn what he really likes and what he really wants so that in the future too, he can make own decisions. So those are the things that I think is important、uh, when I raise my son. So I'm taking advantage of、uh, opportunities in the U.S. Thank you for listening to my YouTube channel. See you next time.